Hey, shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, we'd like to give our praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rishak, Kudash. Okay, the brother Yara Yah and the brother Yahawada from the GMS Italia camp. And we are here to teach. Okay, we were actually supposed to go to another city yesterday, but we couldn't make it. So we are actually in a city close by. And this is a this is a park where I do my videos many many weekends. But I don't know. Unfortunately today it seems like there is no one around, you know, just just a few people, you know. So you know it's time for summer and people are you know moving they're moving to the oceans, to the beach, you know, to party and get crazy. You know, but we are children of light, we're redeeming the time. We know what's about to go on. We know that this kingdom is about to be destroyed. Okay. So we can see all these things coming up. So, you know, usually I'll do this lesson in Italian, but yeah, let's do it in English today. So we actually thought of, um, of doing a short breakdown regarding the book of um, Daniel chapter 7 which the apostles and elders and many great Achaeans have already done breakdowns on it, you know. So for deeper breakdowns, you know, you can check out videos. I already did the deep breakdown in Italian language. So, yeah, let's start. This is the book of um, Daniel chapter 7. Okay. Okay, yeah, read. I need to read it out. This is the book of Daniel chapter 7. Of one. In the first year of Bethsheba, the king of Babylon, Daniel had a dream and vision of his head upon his bed. Then he wrote the dream and told the sum of the matter. So, as you can hear, you know, in the first year of Belshazzar, king of Babylon, okay, Daniel had a dream, you know. So, there is actually the first part of the vision which the, the king Nebuchadnezzar the, the great himself he had okay in which Nebuchadnezzar is the father of Belshazzar if I'm not mistaken someone can correct me in the, in the comment section and you know he actually saw um, he had a vision of this statue that had a golden head chest of silver the the belly of brass then you have the tie of um of um, iron then you have the feet of iron mixed with clay, okay? So that was the first great um, vision, in which the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai gave also this vision to Daniel, okay? Because the king wanted to destroy the whole kingdom, because no one could interpret and tell him what this dream actually was, this vision. So Daniel was the only one given the power by Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. So he broke down the dream. And now this vision that Daniel is having, it's just the exact same vision, but let's say it goes into deeper breakdowns, okay? So go on. Then I spake and said, I saw in my vision by night, and behold, the four wings of the heavens drove upon the great sea, and four great seas came up from the sea, diverse one from another. Okay, it says, um, there are two key words here that usually the apostles they teach us, you know, when you hear the word um, a, a great sea, you know, normally it could represent people, okay? So it says, and four great beasts came up from the sea, diverse from one another, okay? And that's the main focus point because, you know, it's just like what I said now, the the first vision that King Nebuchadnezzar had, that Daniel also had, which was this, the statue, you know, that had different kingdoms. These are talking about the kingdoms of this world. The difference between this um, this vision here is, I don't think, you know, he said gold, silver, bronze, iron, and um, iron mixed with clay, okay? That's the feet. So now let's let's see what it says, go on. The first was like a lion, and they, and they had eagles. 
Take this win. I did her see the wing. Thereof, we are plunked and it was lit up from the earth. A may stand upon the feet of the man, and man's heart was given to it. So this first beast actually represents the Assyrian and the Babylonian, okay? The Assyrian and the Babylonian Empire, okay? Now we can also find exactly what this statue is. You know, he said he saw a statue of lion with a man's head, right? Okay, with wings. Now if you go to the if you go to the um is it the museum of Lovraine in um in France, you're going to see artifacts, you know, of the ancient Babylon in which you see this statue. It's called I believe the Lamassu, if I'm not mistaken. You see this statue of the lion, okay. Let me see if I can find it. Yes, it's in the Museum of France. That's exactly what what you know Daniel uh, Daniel was seen there. So now let's see. Lama Su. I hope I'm getting it right. Okay, you see. If you go to images now. This is what it's it's actually speaking about. I don't know if you can see it. No, let me look for a better image. Hey, I'm not sure you can you can see it. Okay, this is exactly what Daniel was speaking about, you know. And this represents the Babylon, the ancient Babylon. Okay. So you see, it says it has two wings, in which the two wings are representing Babylon and Assyria. Okay. So let's go on. And behold, another beast. The second like a deer, and it raised up itself on one side, and it had three reeds in the mouth of it, between the teeth of it, and they said, Thus unto us, thus unto it, arise before Lord said. Okay, now this is the verse 5. It says, He saw another beast as a second like a deer, okay? and it raised up itself on one side and it had three reeds and this is actually talking about the kingdom of the Medes and the Persians okay the three reeds I believe represent um, the kings you know you had um, you had King Cyrus the first then you had Cyrus the second then you had Darius, Darius okay so let's go on after and yes, yes, it says, um, it says, um, arise before most mo stress because okay. they had they had so much power. Like even there is also a saying that you know you would actually be mad to go against to fight war against the Medes and the Persians. You know, they were so heavy and strong. They had the best, the strongest military. Okay, go on. Just like it's saying, just like it is said in the book of Revelation, can who can make war with the beast? In those days, you know, you had the Persians and the and the and the Medes. They had the strongest, you know, military power, the military strength. Go on. After this, I beheld and lo, another, like a leopard, which had upon the back of it four wings of the, of a fowl, and the beast had also four heads, and dominion was given to it. Okay, the leopard represents Alexander the Creep, okay? So the, 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 the leopard represents Alexander the Creep. Even if you watch the movie, there is a part, I'm talking about the, the later version of the movie, Alexander the, the Creep, okay? So there is a... Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it would be Alexander the Great, but you know, who cares, man? Is the father of the Edomites is the one that you know is the one that brought this Edomites into power till today. The one they believe that the, uh, yes. the civilization came to Okay, that's true. So he says, you know, after this I beheld and lo, another like a leopard, which had upon the back of it four wings of a fowl. Okay. And these four wings represent the four generals of Alexander. Okay. 
Alexander died, I think, at the age of 32 or 33, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Between 32 and 33, he, had, he died of a sickness, you know. So before dying, he, 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 he split his kingdom within his four generals, which are um, Lysimachus, Ptolemy, Cassander, and Solutius. Okay. These are the names of the four generals. And Ptolemy was the one that took over the land of um, Egypt, you know, and came up with all different kinds of madness in the later times, you know. So as we know about this kingdom, in the book of um, Maccabees, first Maccabees, you know, we knew that, the scriptures let us know that at this time, evil began to reign upon the world, you know, evil multiplied, you know. When Alexander the Great, you know, he shared his, his um, he, he divided his kingdom amongst his generals, you know, evil began to reign upon the world, you know, so much evil. So that's how we know the power was translated then into the hands of the wicked, you know. So let's keep reading. After this, I saw in the night vision, and behold, a fourth beast, dreadful and terrible, and strong, and strong exceedingly. And it had great iron teeth. It devoured and break in pieces, and stamped the residue with the feet of it, and it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it, and it had ten horns. And this beast now that he's talking about is the Roman Empire. Okay? The Roman Empire. The Roman Empire was different from all the other beasts that reign okay and you see the word beast actually stands for power okay so the romans they had they were you know he said he mentioned iron okay iron tips, iron tips. you know the the, the, the the romans were so advanced in their iron machineries of war okay which is power at the end of the day you know tips actually means you know weapon tips means weaponry they had so much weaponry you know so they devoured they devoured Yes, yes, just like the artist saying, you know, just like um, the lion has the power from his teeth, you know, his, the teeth are his major weapon of, of tearing, of destruction, you know, so that's the same thing with the Roman Empire, you know, the Roman Empire was so powerful that when they came in, man, they started destroying everything, you know, they, there was no one that could stand their way, man, they destroyed everything, and the good thing we need to understand now is that this same Roman Empire is still in power today, okay? This, yes, everything is reincarnated, you know. This Roman Empire is still in power, but disguised in a different way. So now it tells you that it had, and it had ten horns, you know. The ten horns represent powers, you know. Powers, you know. So as we know it, it's actually talking about the later times, you know, the later times. Because this beast, from there, it went on, and it, the real beast now ruling the world now is um, Babylon the Great, which is the United States, okay? And United States mother is the, is the, is the Great Britain, as we read in the book of um, Revelation, you know? So, these ten horns are actually the first ten, I believe, the ten, um, the ten um, major, major countries of the NATO, okay? So let's keep reading. I considered the horn, and behold, there came up among them another little horn, before whom there were three of the first horn flung off by the root. And behold, in this horn were eyes like the eyes of a man, and a mouth speaking great things. Okay, now this is the book of Revelation. Chapter 13. So yes, this is this is very deep, you know. It says, I consider the horn, and behold, there came up among them another little horn, before whom there were three of the first horns plucked up by the root. Okay? And this horn that he's speaking about is the USA, United States, okay? 
So let's get a little of a precept from the book of Revelation. Chapter 13. Okay, chapter 13, I'll read verse 5. It says, And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemy, and power was given unto him to continue forty and two months, which is 350 years, okay, when the US was established in 1620, from within 1620 to 1970. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against Yahweh power to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. Okay, this is actually talking about Babylon the Great, America. America has blasphemed everything, you know. They created all different laws, you know, going against the commandment of the Most High, you know. So let me read this verse 11. It said, And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb. And he spake as a dragon, and he exercised all the power of the first beast before him, okay? And caused the earth and them which were therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. Okay, this is really deep, you know? And this is actually talking about the, Rena uh, the, 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 the Renaissance, you know? Because during the time of the Renaissance, when before the Renaissance, Jake got into power, and this Roman Empire was actually defeated from the inside, you know. Jake got back into power. And that's when, you know, they, this beast was wounded, you know. This beast was wounded because the so-called black man, they were ruling in, in, in the Roman Empire, you know. So what happened? They gained power again in the time of the Renaissance, of the Renaissance, and came back into power, you know. And that system is what has been going on. You know, now you have democracy at the end of the day, which is built just the same way the the ancient romans used to do you know they, they they have they'll tell you they'll give you two parties you know the the republicans and the and the democrats in which back in the ancient times they were called the um, plebeians and the patricians you know so they are actually exercising the same the same they are giving power into the old beast you get you get the point they are giving actually power to the old beast which was the roman empire so it's the same thing or incarnated again okay so we know here in verse 8 of the book of Daniel chapter 7 that he's speaking about the United States okay keep reading but now I can hear to the truth your child down and the essence of this 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 beast whose garment was light was, was white as snow and the hair of his head like the pure wool his throne was like the fairest flame and his way as a burning fire. Can. So that's actually representing the most high Yahweh. Okay. The one who the most high, um, the, 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 the ignorance of this world called God and different names, Yahweh or whatever, Jehovah. His name, his true name is Yahweh. Okay. And the most high is, uh, is not a so called white man. Okay. Just like the Mormons they try to teach. His son, Yahweh Shai, is now also a, a so-called um, white man. We have all different precepts, but we're not going into that now. So keep reading. But said, the fairy stream issued and came forth from before him. Thousand, thousand, ministered unto him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The judgment was set. The books were opened. But eleven, I beheld then, because the voice of the great world, which the horn speak, I beheld even see the beast was slain, and his body destroyed, and given to the burning flame. So this is actually what's going to happen very soon, okay? Destruction of this kingdom, okay? This kingdom has, has gone, they've gone just too far, man. I don't think there is any other kingdom that went as far as this kingdom, man. You know, the people are blind, but destruction is coming, you know. The Most High is going to send his angels, you know, led by the Most, the most High Son, Yahweh Shai. And, you know, the, the head of the angels, Michael Mikahala, which means who is like the power. They are coming to destroy this kingdom, the wicked. They are also coming to destroy two-thirds two of the house of Israel, you know. Because two-thirds of the house of Israel are doing the bidding of the wicked. They don't want to listen to what the Most High says. They don't want to believe this book. They believe in their oppressors, you know. 
just like the book of um of Isaiah 1 3 says, you know, the ox and the and the donkey, I'm just paraphrasing, you know, they know their owner and their master's trade. But you know, Israel does not consider, we don't consider all these things, man. We don't know the name of our power, we don't know who our power is, we don't know anything, you know. We just go after every damn thing that they do. Now, as you can see, the, the big propaganda going on, you know, trying to get everybody the waters, you know, trying to disrupt, you know, your, your code as a human, you know. And this is going to lead to the mark of the beast, which is the microchip. And we can see it very clearly that, you know, we're coming steps closer and closer to this, man. Like over here in Italy, they just, you know, the dragon on, uh, at the power there, you know, he just, you know, he made a decree, you know, and he said that we need a, green, a sort of green pass to, to, to move around Italy and also to go to other parts of the EU, you know, from state, to state. from state to state, imagine. So we can see the pattern of this beast, you know, coming out all still, you know, and the biggest, um, the biggest one we're waiting for, child, let me try. Bene, gracias. I'll be super with you know. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Noi stiamo insegnando la verità qui, la Bibbia. Va bene? Ciao okay. bello. Ma tu credi nella Bibbia? Tu credi nella Bibbia? Sì, tu credi nella Bibbia? Sì o no? Non lo sai? Di che religione sei? Tu sai comunque che la Bibbia parla, noi non siamo africani, lo sai questo? Sai che siamo i figli di Israele, lo sai questo? Comunque non ti tengo, buona giornata, ciao bello. Ciao. Oh, well, that's, that's the dick I actually know see around. He's, uh, is deep into this, um, you know, the Islam religion, you know, and people like that, very, very difficult to teach, you know. So it's all good, man. So where did I stop? Hmm? Okay, let's go, let's go on and read, okay, verse 12. Verse 12. As concerning the rest of the beasts, they had their dominion taken away, yet live their, live their, live their lives, they are prolonged for a season and time. 13. I saw in the night vision, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the ancient of days. And they brought him near before him. Go on, go on. 14. And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all, pe all people, nations, and languages should love him. His dominion. Is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away, and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. Okay, and this is the kingdom we are actually waiting for, you know. And this this one that they say, like unto the Son of Man, is the Son of the Most High, Yahweh Shai. Okay, that's the Son of the Most High, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus, you know. That's his kingdom that we are actually waiting for, you know. We don't give a damn about this kingdom here. They don't give a damn about you know getting illusion an illusion of freedom here which is not freedom you know we know that these devils right here that are ruling this um, this kingdom they're trying to give us one little thing to take everything away from us you know they're setting traps actually you know they award you to get the waters you know so you can get destroyed by the most high how about shemi shy but this we don't care we don't really care about this kingdom the kingdom we are actually waiting for is the kingdom the ark just read about you know a dominion that shall be run you know in righteousness forever and ever you know everlasting an everlasting kingdom you know in which everything will go back to its natural order because now everything is just messed up man there is no natural order man there is no natural order the so-called white man has destroyed every damn thing man polluted the air inquinated the water you know messed up our minds our brains you know we are prisoners in this in this kingdom man give us some sort of some sort of um, freedom you know we can stay up stay home from work man we are just you know prisoners you know as we we're saying earlier let's keep reading 
I, Daniel, was grieved in my spirit. In the midst of my body and the vision of my head troubled me. I came near unto one of them that stood by and asked him the truth of all this. So he told me and made me know the interpretation of things, of the things. So as you can see, even at that time, Daniel, when he saw these visions, they were great unto him, you know, he didn't understand what was going on, you know. So, you know, he was given a little interpretation, but yet he still didn't understand everything, you know. But there is going to be a time, just like the last chapter of this book says, the book of Daniel, that he was going to come back to his lot, you know, and then he would have the full understanding of what was, what this, um, of what this vision was actually. Okay, so go on. Those great beasts, which one are those? These great beasts. These great beasts, which uh, are four, are four kings who shall arise out of the hell. Okay, so as we as we've explained, you see, we're telling you that these four beasts that he spoke about are four great kings which shall arise from the earth. You know, which is talking about the Assyrians and the Babylonians. Yes, this is your the brother is actually saying that this is what Christianity don't talk about. Yes, Christianity is just, you know, they don't even know the meaning of it's peace. ignorance, man. It's just darkness, you know. Christianity, mostly especially Christianity. They don't if you don't know they, the they, meaning they, of peace, they how hold can you know this peace? Bible but they don't they don't know what it means, you know. If you want to say something, you can say something. You don't know the meaning of peace. Then how can you understand this man? Can. Can. You don't know the you don't know the name of the beast. How can you how can you, you know, understand the marks? So as we're saying, these four beasts were the Assyrians and the Babylonians, the Medes and the Persians, the Greek Empire, and the four generals. And you see, it's giving you a pattern here, the Roman Empire, okay? Because it didn't, it's not telling you about today now. It's unlike the other, unlike the other, um, the other vision of the statue. You know, the statue actually shows you, I think, five kingdoms, you know? It's telling you the head of gold, which represents the, the Babylonians and the Assyrians, okay? Tells you a chest of, um, of, of, um, of silver, which represents um, the Medes and the Persians. Then the belly of um, bronze, which is Alexander the Great, Alexander the Crypt. Then you have the thighs of iron, which is the Roman Empire. Then it goes on to tell you iron mixed with clay, you know? And you see the feet are ten, 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 ten fingers on the feet, you know? which represents the ten horns that this is talking about. But yeah, this one didn't go on telling you more because it is still the Roman Empire that is ruling today, okay? It is still the Roman Empire that is ruling today. So I believe everything is coming, it's coming, you know, it's coming together. So let's keep reading. 18. But the strength of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. And the saints of the Most High, who are the saints of the Most High? The Israelites, the sons of Israel. They shall take the kingdom and possess it forever. Now we've been seen as nothing. Get me the book of um, Acts chapter 1 verse 6. Baba Kusha. So, the saints of the Most High were seen as nothing, you know. But this kingdom is actually given to us, you know. This kingdom is our kingdom. When Yahweh Chai comes back to rule and things goes back to the normal order, the real administrators of this kingdom are going to rule this kingdom because those who are ruling this kingdom now they can't rule it you know that's why everything is destroyed man what does the book of um, acts 1 6 say this is the book of acts chapter 1 verse 6 when they when they therefore were come together they asked of him saying lord we shall at this time restore again the kingdom of israel verse 7 and he said unto them it is not for you to know the time or the season which the Father has put in his own power. Okay, so the uh, the apostles are actually asking, is the Most High going to restore this kingdom back to the sons of Israel? In which that should let you know that the, the, the apostles, they had the knowledge that this kingdom was actually given into the hands of the Israelites, you know? We've been hijacked, we've been hijacked of our, our heritage, of our truth, we've been hijacked of our land, you know, 70 AD when this devils went down to Jerusalem okay and carried on that mission to, to steal everything you know and what they stole part of what they stole part of they stole so much riches that you know they built their first colosseum here with the riches that they stole from from from, from us you know 
And there is also another scriptures that say, you know, the meek shall inherit the earth. Who are the meek? The meek are the so-called sons of Israel, the so-called native, uh, native Americans, the Negroes, and the Latinos. These are the sons of Israel, you know, as you see on the chart here. You know, this continent, this earth, this planet, everything belongs to us, you know. And things are coming back into that same, you know, to the, to the normal way it's supposed to go. And this is our fate, man. This is what we are waiting for. We are not waiting for this so-called white man devil to come and give us an illusion of peace, an illusion of happiness, an illusion of, of, of joy, man. Because it's an illusion. There is nothing behind it. It's not, it's not, it's not heavy, man. The, the so-called white devils, they only give you illusions, you know. So we need to wake up and come out of these things because, you know, a lot of great things are about to happen. Like the book of um, Jeremiah 37, you know, it speaks about the, the time of Jacob's trouble, you know, in which is going to be a time like never before. Even the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse, verse 1, even speaks about this, you know. There is a time coming in which, you know, unlike any other time, we are actually at the beginning, but things are really going to heat up very much. So those of you who are seeking careers, who are seeking, you know, to, 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 fulfill, to fulfill the flesh, pleasures of your flesh, you know, those are the people that are going to be caught up in this, in this, in this evil. You know, because now devil is coming out. You know, with all different kinds of tricks. You know, he say if you take the waters, I'll give you this. I'll do that. People are winning lotteries, man. People are winning lotteries. People are winning guns. People are winning cars yeah. and all these things, man. Yeah. I told you now. It's just like it's not that. That's a rat. A rat. Have you ever seen a rat trap? A rat trap. Okay, they put small cheese on it. Or they put something that the rat likes. Then the rat crawls in as he eats the thing before it goes back. Pam! The trap picks it up. That's exactly what they're doing to you, people, man. So that's, that's, that's what I was about to say before. In stick America, out, stick out, stick out. In America, uh, I saw this uh, news. They said that uh, once you take the particular mic club, you know, once you take the job, that they will give you a kind of free uh, entry to go for. Uh, uh, just, <laughs> just, just imagine, and you see, a lot of people are going to fall for this, you know. A lot of people are going to fall for this because they know our people. They know our people. They know they are easily tricked, man. The beginning of the scripture says that we are sottish children, you know. Sottish children, foolish people, man, foolish children. And now is the time that we need to start, you know, getting things right with our mind, with our spirit, you know. Getting things right with the most high Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai because the times that are about to come, none of these people are going to be there to save you, man. So let's keep going on. Do you have any precepts or no? Yeah, I want us to go. Bring out your precepts. I want us to talk about the defense. Okay, the defense. You know, these days now people like when my Catholics, you know, I used to be with my Catholics before, they always talk about they have their own time. But according to the scripture, we understand the fence that the Israelites, you know, here I have uh, Psalm 50, verse uh, 5. Psalm 50, verse, okay. Yeah. This is the book of Psalm, verse 50, verse 5. Chapter he 50, said, 50, verse chapter 5. Chapter 50, verse 5, he said, Gather my son together unto me, those that God have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Can. If you understand me, you can. Can. Israelites. Can. Gather my yeah. saints unto me, those who have... Those who have made a covenant, have made a covenant by mm. sacrifice, you know. This is talking about the house of Israel, man. The so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and the Latinos, you know. We had a covenant with the Most High, you know. The covenant was given to Abraham, Jacob, Isaac, Isaac and Jacob, sorry, you know. So we know it's talking about certain lines, you know. So anyway, let's go back. This is um, the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 19, okay? Then I, then I would know the truth of the fourth beast, which was diverse from all the others, exceedingly dreadful, whose teeth were of iron, and his nail of a brass, who devour, devour, break in pieces, and stamp the residue with his feet. Hi. And we know that this is talking about this is talking about United States, you know, USA, you know. 
and that really goes back into the book of um, Revelation 13 5 you know this is talking about the so-called USA which is Babylon the Great you know now Babylon is actually sitting on the throne commanding all countries America would leave their land and go to other people and sanction them for stupid things man they have guts man and nobody sanctions them man so that's how you know it's the beast that is commanding the whole world and you know running all things you know so go on verse 20 and of the ten horns that we are in his head and of the other and, and of the other which came up and before whom three fell even of that horn that had eyes and a mouth that speak very great things whose look was more stout than his fellows which one at the head and the same horn made made war with the saints and prevail against them Dan, so this is actually talking about america you know this is talking about america usa you know they made war with the saints and and they prevailed against the saints you know yes they've been they've, they've been doing they've been doing this war right from time because you know you need to understand that these romans okay they are the same lineage okay of this um of these americans of today you know they started already right from the time they went in 70 ad to 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 as i was saying earlier to steal and destroy kill the saints in the land of jerusalem they caused actually the dispersion of the saints in all parts of the world you know they caused the dispersion of the saints you know that's why the saints had to run down to the interiors of africa you know and the saints being normally foolish the way they are they forget their heritage they don't remember their heritage you know they call themselves the africans in which they are not africans you know you know that those who owns the land there are the hamites you know there's a difference between the hamites and the judites you know the israelites so let's keep reading Verse 22, until the ancient of days came, and judgment was given to the saints. Hold on. So you see, but this, this destruction of the saints is still going on today. How do they, how do they kill us? They kill us mentally, you know, spiritually. They weaken us. They do all sorts of things, you know. So that, that verse right there is letting you know that they will continue to persecute the saints, you know. But the saints are foolish. They don't understand all these things, you know. They are being persecuted in, their, in this land, but they think that these people love them, you know. They are doing the bidding of, of, of their enemies, you know. They don't, they don't see it, how the, this enemy is working in freakish ways and killing them, reducing them, you know. Creating abortion factories and, you know, um, filling them up with all kinds of drugs to kill their brains, you know. You know. And the only person that can come and save us is Yao Bacteria Yao Chai, you know. So keep reading. Verse 22. Until the ancient of death came, and judgment was given to the saints of the Most High. And the time came that the saints possessed the kingdom. Time. Wait, let me check the book of uh, Revelation 7. And you see, this um, destruction actually, as you see, the Most High would come, the Most High is going to be the one to redeem us, you know, from his throne, Yahweh Shai. So he's going to be the one to redeem us, okay, from the hands of these devils. So this is the book of, um, of Revelation chapter 7, which goes deeper into how everything is going to play out, you know. It says, And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four wings of the earth. And that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on the, on any tree. And these winds are actually the nuclear bombs that he's talking about, you know. And he said, and I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power, Yahweh. He cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given, it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their forehead, you know. And this sealing, we believe, it's still going on, you know. The most is sealing, is sealing, is sealing in the forehead. That's 
the knowledge, giving us the knowledge of this truth, you know. Amen. And the name, most especially, you know, you can't have this truth without knowing the name of the Most High and the name of His Son. Just like the book of Proverbs 20 says, you know, who has, um, 30 verse 4, sorry, who ascended into the sky, I'm just paraphrasing, who created the oceans, the mountains and everything. What is His name? Can that tell the name of His Son, you know? You can't have this truth without knowing the true names of the Most High. It's not done, man. That's why we are told to be to be as perfect as our Father is, you know? We, we need to be perfect in this truth, man. Okay? So keep reading, please. Verse 23. Thus he said, The fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon the earth, which shall be diverse from all kingdoms, and shall devour the whole, and shall devour the whole, the whole earth, and shall burn it down and break it in pieces. And that's talking of the NATO, the EU, and Babylon the Great, United States, you know. Those are what that's what it's talking about there. Okay, go on. It's four. And the ten horns out of the kingdom are the ten kings. Are ten kings that shall arise, and another shall arise after them. And he shall be diverse from the first, and he shall subdue three kings. Okay, this is actually talking of um, you know time passed okay you need to take a step back this is talking of when the united states you know made war with spain france and the united kingdom okay the three kings are actually spain france and united kingdom okay so go on verse 25 and he shall speak great wars against the most high and shall wear out the strength of the most high and seek to change time and law and they shall be given into his hand until a time and the sign and the dividing of time okay are they not changing the laws okay the most High says it's an abomination for a man to live with another man for a woman to live with another woman they've changed the whole order of things you know they've changed the calendar they've changed everything man they've blasphemed the name of the most High, giving people the false name of these centuries man they've done everything impossible every every commandment in the scripture They've made sure they've gone against each commandment, man. And this is talking about the United States, man. Where that they are on Babylon the Great, you know. So we know what the judgment is coming up for Babylon the Great, you know. Babylon and uh, and uh, and our allies, you know. Talking of the EU, the NATO, even Italy included, you know, because Italy is a very strong tool in the hand of Babylon. Yeah, yes, because Italy, Italy here. Yeah. Is let's say the spiritual, it's their spiritual headquarters here, you know. Their financial headquarters is the United Kingdom, you know. And United Kingdom, as we know from the book of Revelation, is it 17 or 18? You know, it speaks of the mother of the of the of the of the world shall weep for her, you know. UK is going to weep for the United Kingdom is going to weep for America when a judgment comes, man. Because America will be destroyed, you know. No one is going to be on that land anymore. Go on, Ash. Verse 26. For the judgment shall cease, and they shall take away the dominion to consume and to destroy it until the end. Fine. That's exactly what we're saying. Okay, go on. Verse 27. And the kingdom and the dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominion shall serve. And obey him. So this is exactly what we are waiting for. You know, there is a book in the book of Revelation that says, you know, first time is passing, first time. And there is a book in the book of Revelation that tells us that, you know, this is the patience. This, the saints, uh, this is the, the patience of the saints, you know. He that lives into captivity shall go into captivity, and he that killeth with the sword shall die by the sword. This is the patience and faith of the of the of the of the saints, man. Revelation 13, Tawada. And this is what we are actually waiting for, man. We know this kingdom is coming to a huge destruction, you know. And we know dominion shall be given into unto the sons of Israel, which are the so-called Negroes, Native Americans and the Latinos, okay. This power is going to be giving us back, you know. This is the property of our father, man. And we shall inherit what our father has given to us, you know. We will no longer be at the bottom. We will no longer be seen. As nothing, we will, not, we will no longer be called names, you know? Like they've always called us all different names all our lives, man. 
So this is actually what we're waiting for. It says, and the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven. It's not saying one part. It's not saying just Jerusalem or Israel. It's saying under the whole heaven, the four corners, man, it shall belong to us. And this is what we are waiting for. We are not waiting for some so-called false, uh, false, uh, what do they call it? Um, false hope that we can go back to the normal. There is no normal here, man. There is just only pure madness out here, man. And those of you, those of you who are believing that there is a normal, that you take the waters and go back to normal, man, you're, you're all jonesing, man. <laughs> Don't know me in that thing, brother. Block my video. Take the waters and go back to normal. Yes, this is not normal. We don't care about the normal here. The normal here is hell. We're waiting for the normal of your house, but same your outside. One will be the king, the princes of power, the rulers of this old damn planet, man. So that's what we're looking after. You know, that's what makes the difference between the saints, the one third of the house of Yashar Allah, and the two thirds. The two thirds don't give a damn, man. The two thirds want their freedom, they want to go back to the clubs and shake booties and everything. The two thirds wants to wants to wants to wants to be on top, you know, wants to be like a star, man. The two thirds they want they want money, they want to they want to show off, you know, and do what you know their oppressors have taught them all their lives, you know. So go on. Yeah, I think we have the last verse. Yeah, verse 28. Key there too is the end of the matter. As for me, Daniel. My con congregation must trouble me, and my containers pain in me, but I kept the matter in my heart. Okay, that's Daniel, you know, fighting with his congregation, you know. He doesn't understand still. He, even he, he was explained all these things, but he didn't still get onto him, you know. And now I, I'm just curious, I want to see the word congregation there. I believe it has to do with the brain, mind, you know. Daniel 7. So the word conversation. The word conditation is rayon, rayon, okay, which means thought, you know, as I just said, it has to do with his brain, his mind, you know, so it says here, yeah, corresponding to H7475, a grasp, a heal, mental conception, you see, mental conception, okay, the action of thinking, of thinking, yes, deeply, deeply about something, can. Contemplation. 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 Can. So you see, just like he we said, he was that. worried because his mind couldn't carry everything. Couldn't yeah, he couldn't comprehend it, you know. So he was worried. But, you know, all praises to the Most High Yahweh Hashem outside. He has given us, you know, the spirit to understand this, this, um, this visions, you know, these dark sayings, you know, because they were actually for a certain time. And now by the spirit we know that we are actually at the end of the kingdom, man. We are actually at the end of this kingdom. Is it? Pardon me. We're going to, we're going to close up very soon, you know. We just wanted to go through the book of Daniel, chapter 7. But I think it wouldn't be nice if we don't go to... Okay. So this is the book of um, this is the book of Daniel chapter two. I'll read. I'll read from verse forty-two just to give a little context, you know. So what we've actually got into talking about, you know, the four beasts, and we know that the last beast, you know, had ten horns, which still represents the ten feet, you know on the other side of the vision that King Nebuchadnezzar had, you know. So verse 42 says, And as the toes of the feet were part of iron and part of clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. Okay? 
uh, my kingdom divided against itself shall not stand, you know, and that's exactly what's going on with these um, so-called hypocrites that are ruling this, this world, the so-called white man, okay? And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave one to another. They try to mingle everybody all together to put us under the same umbrella and call us, we serve the same God, we are this one. No, man, we are all different, man. Okay, that's a good example, you know, UK coming out of the, of the EU and all those things, you know. Another good example is Turkey leaving the NATO, you know. So, and, uh, and, uh, this, uh, this paper about to join uh, Ukraine. Ukraine is about to join. You see, they are not all bond, bonded to themselves, you know. So it says, And in the days of these kings shall Yahweh, power of heaven, set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. Okay, for as much as thou sawest that the stone was cut out of the mountain without hand, and that it break in pieces iron and brass, the clay, the silver, the gold, the great power had made, had made known to the king what shall come to pass hereafter, and the dream is certain, and interpretation is sure of it. Okay, so the point I wanted to bring out is, you know, we have actually been caught out of, you know, a mountain without the hands of men. This truth didn't come to us by any man. It comes from the Most High Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, through our apostles and, and you know, our, through our apostles and elders, you know, of the Great Millstone GMS. So all the way down, this truth has gotten to us. This truth wasn't brought out by the government. This truth wasn't brought out by Esau. This truth wasn't brought out by no dumb person, you know. It's the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And we are actually the kingdom that is about to come break down the rest of all these people, you know. The Most High is going to make us weapons, you know. He's going to, he's going to make us threshing weapons, you know. We're going to become supermen, you know. And we'll be able to destroy all our enemies, who, those who have taken us captive all these years, all these years, man. Well, if you have something to add, if not, I close the, the yeah. lesson. Yeah, I just have one thing to Bro. This is the book of Ecclesiastes 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh yeah. and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Tag, tag. Fear Yahweh Yahweh and keep his commandments. This is the whole duty of man, okay? But this, these hypocritical pastors and teachers, false teachers, they'll tell you to be the best you can, man. You don't, so have, to the you don't have to keep the commandments. They've done away with. Be the best version you can. You know, get as much money and be successful. It's the most that has given you all this, man. This is madness. And we have seen the result of living lawlessness. We've seen the results. We've seen the results, man. Yeah. And hey, this place is coming really <laughs> heavy. Things are about to come, man. You better start looking for for, for, for for this truth, you know, embracing this truth because this truth is going to be the stability of our time, man. You know, without this truth, man, people are going to freak out. People are going to fall for the traps, man. So this truth is the only thing that's going to keep us during the days to come. So having said this, if you have something else to add, you know, uh, having said this, we hope this lesson has been edifying by the Spirit. And, you know, we'd like to give all praises to the Most High. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Mutakudash. Uh, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught us this truth, which is the 100% truth. Okay, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, risking their lives in these last days to bring out this truth, man. Hold on and stay strong, you know. Very soon we'll be out of here, man. Time is just right there at the door, man. So, you know, Shalawam, Shalawam. Yeah. And on to the next one, Shalawam. Shalawam. Shalawam.